Good morning, good morning, good morning! It's reveal day. And guess what? This is the final wall of the garage. So we have finished technically one full structure. I mean, we, we haven't put a roof on it or framed in the rest the of the walls. We, fam we finished the rammed earth of one whole structure. This is a big day, you guys. Y'all have stuck with us for a long time to get us to this point, and we really appreciate it. Now we just have, you know, two other much larger, more complex structures to make, but, you know, we're getting better at it. So I'm pretty excited. Well, let's, uh, let's get after it. Check it out. All right, one other thing I wanted to bring up. We started a Patreon. Some of the commenters down below uh, suggested it to us. We are kind of, you know, still in that infant phase of like, who would want to actually support us? But we started a Patreon. So if you are interested, don't feel any pressure. You know, the subscriptions, the comments, and just, you know, watching us and joining our adventure is, is enough. But if you feel like you want to do a little bit more, we actually have a Patreon. It's in the link below. Click on that and we would super appreciate that. But again, don't feel obligated in any way. We're just glad you guys are here. All right, that's the awkward like thing out of the way. Support us on Patreon, thank you. We tried a new way of securing to the wall. Uh, we were originally gonna do tap cons, but we realized that would be holding by the thread of the tap cons and that probably would not uh, push against the ramming. I mean, hold up against the ramming. So what we did is we actually drove these 3 8 um, redhead anchors into the wall through the form. Now, a lot of people are gonna be like, oh no, you put a hole in your wall and all this stuff. The holes that they leave are relatively small and we can patch over them and that we, we put them in strategic locations where they will be covered by beams and the structure of the rest of the roof. So you really won't see, you'll see this one, but not that one and then that one. Anyway, so what we did is we just drilled straight through and went into the existing wall in order to hold this form tight up against the wall. And let me tell you, I really think it worked because for the first eight feet of this wall, we saw almost no push out from the existing wall, which is kind of impressive. We've never seen that. By the time we hit the top, we were like pushing half inch, maybe even three quarters of an inch on each side, but it's really not that bad. So we're gonna see how it looks. And again, we're making this up as we go, so. And we also decided not to do chamfers between yes. the wall so, sections. So typically uh, between two wall sections, you would put two chamfers. So what, what it would happen is it would look like this because you'd have a chamfer on the first wall and then the next wall coming in would be another chamfer. And all that does is it serves to hide the fact that you have push out on the wall. Like you're gonna have push out on the wall. And so instead of them kind of being like this where one wall is further out, and then you have to either sand it or do whatever. You put in chamfers to kind of hide that. We tried it just putting them straight up because we kind of wanted to see what it looked like. And this is a good wall to do that on because it's never really going to be seen. It's part of the garage. It's part of the shop. We just want to see if we could, you know, do it without that and what it would look like. Um, partially just to kind of see. I mean, we get to experiment, so you don't have to. But in order to mitigate the push out, we actually drove anchors into the wall about every five feet. Um, and it seems to have done quite a bit of good, actually. So we'll uh, pull it out and we'll see what it looks like. Hopefully it looks all right. It's not a super awesome sound. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's a nice little gurgling coming from the main cylinder. Oh. The seal that uh, we've been putting off doing for a while now. It's a not small project. Is, uh, I think it's it might've come to a head. Well, are we gonna be able to pull form today? I don't know. Well, let's extend it out and see what happens. Yeah. Because if not, I'm going to stop pulling form. Um, yeah, that's the... So basically, this machine here, it's got one giant cylinder 
in addition to the, all the other cylinders. One particularly large cylinder that extends the boom out. And um, we've been using that quite a bit lately. And as you can tell by the markings on the concrete, it's been leaking for a while and quite a bit. So we're gonna fire it up and run it out full reach and see if it's uh see if it, it gave up day. the ghost. <laughs> Just one more, one more day. One more day. Come on. All right. Let's give it a shot. That may be, that may be the answer to our question when we're ramming to this wall. Can we have the level real quick? Make sure it's... Yeah, it does not sound like it's going to do another wall. It sounds like it might move these forms, but the question is, do we want to move these forms? Well, I guess we have to move the forms in order to move forward on the yeah. uh, like... roof. Yeah, see this nice uh, spot there? That is remnants from ramming this last wall. And there's another one over there from the second wall and some over there from the first wall. So... So we park it where we want to work on it and pull the cylinder out. Awesome. Still gonna be a good day. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> we finished a wall, man. And the two foot mark is right here. Which is over that. Which is over this. Right. And the garage beam will stop about right here. So we're good. Okay. Yeah. Yeesh. So as long as when we land the form, it is to the left of this concrete, mm -hmm. then we're good mm -hmm. to be able to put the roof on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it can be, it can be actually be on this concrete because remember it's six inches in too. True. So. And that's how we got them on. <laughs> Yeah, me going up on the telehandler, we're finding ways to never do that. Okay. Partially because, because our sticky. safety officer says it's not a good idea. That's Partially not. because the commenters on YouTube say it's not a good idea. My mom says it's not a good idea. I say it's not a good idea. You say it's not a good idea. I think it's fantastic. Me too, <laughs> see? Why did God give us tractors anyway? If not to come up and use in irresponsible ways. Uh, one other thing we did to increase the uh, the tension on these end caps is we actually set it up so we could go through this metal, through the plywood, and into this metal. And let me tell you, the squeeze that we experienced when these we right here. Yeah, yeah. The squeeze that we experienced when we tightened this, it was actually pushing water out of the wood of the form because it had rained when we did this. so pretty. That's interesting. I actually did slightly lighter color. It's still dark because it's wet. I know. But even so, as we, I guess as you can tell as I went up, I got lighter. <laughs> we were running out of color. Um, do you want to pull chalk lines? off the wall right now, or if you want to. Yeah, because we're going to have to start the telehandler. Yeah. And once it's running, we have to leave it. So we yeah, kind of need to move as quickly yeah. as possible once it's Yeah, we can pull chalk. Going. Well, it's not currently gurgling, is it? Okay, well that's... Before it was gurgling when it was off. Yeah. Yeah. I think it uh, might have just found an air pocket and 
said air pocket found its way up to that point in the cylinder. Yes, I don't know. That's probably right. <laughs> it sounds super, super scientific, super scientific and accurate. So, you know, I'm for it. From popping up. Well, it can't pop out too much. If you want to. No, this end. Because this whole thing could theoretically flex this way. Uh, uh, what we could do is, like Tia said, a strap to a stake in the ground because once we go to move it, you pop the strap off for a second. Once we're past, oh, we're not going to get past. We're not going to get past it. Um, you can't do anything to that way. Well, we can anchor straight into the wall with a with like a piece of wood. Let's do a tapcon straight from here to here. We'll go okay. tapcon into here, into a piece of metal or something, and then we'll screw it into there. Right. That'll solve that. Yeah, it could be a ratchet strap, that's fine. Have we mentioned this stuff is hard? I was just gonna ask if it was hard. Yeah, it's really hard. There. And this will be covered because we're gonna be putting a wall right here. So it's no big deal. You'll never see that tap going home. You don't have to patch it or anything. All right. Yeah, so we essentially took a Tapcon, put it in here, held it to this because there's nothing keeping this form from falling backwards once we disconnect the tops. And so this is just a safety thing. And considering that safety is like our one of our top five priorities, uh, you know, we want to do things that are, are good for that. We're going to bump safety up to 11 today. <laughs> Ooh, kind of priority list. Bump okay, 11. what are you bumping down in order to make space for it, though? It's not important. Forward Production. Motion. Production. Okay. Okay, so just so we're all clear on the plan, the t we're going to fire up the, tel the telehandler, cut a bone. We're going to put the straps over the forks. We're going to pull the turnbuckle and the base. We're going to move it over, making sure that the far end is at least on the last six inches of the garage side pad. And then we're going to do turnbuckle and base. Yep. Okay, do we have the hammer drill ready to go? Yeah, we need the hammer drill ready, the turnbuckle with a stake. That long turnbuckle is perfect. Uh, you doing fly line, Teej? Is that what that is? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then we'll get ready to do the other side, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what that white stuff is? Huh. When I drilled. Oh, that's powder. the powder that comes out when I drill. And that was uh, one of the spots that I drilled. And it must have already been packed up right there. And then we kept going. So I'm gonna go up so. and give a little smacky smack. Yeah, so it looks like we got about a quarter inch of push out right here. And then it goes up to about a half inch and then back down to a quarter by the time we hit the top. Yeah, so that's... Uh, 
That's what it looks like. It is pretty. It's just water. It'll it'll evaporate probably in the next hour. Yeah. All right. And I'm not so sure that I like the way that this joint looks, but Ricky said he's going to sand it and then we'll see. So to be decided. I just had an interesting thought. What if to hide this vertical, we actually just put a small strip of wood like, like the old school, like, um, the English style timber frame where they packed in, um, like almost like Adobe in between timber frames. Yeah. I don't know. Might look cool yeah, with maybe. a vertical, a vertical piece of wood going up. Cool. That would look kind of cool. Wouldn't it? Add some neat like wood. Yeah. It would be like a, house. like a, just a wood accent. Yeah, It would make putting furniture around the outside of the room a pain. Around you the outside like a cabinet room. or a, that is true. We are building well, over the stuff. No, the no, you just don't, you notch it here. If there's going to be a piece of furniture up against it, you just notch it. I, I know, but then you can't just easily move furniture around the house. Well, you just said you wanted to put the furniture there. You're already no, moving the furniture. We just decided to put the furniture there. Do you already want to move it? Stop, <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> Yeah, that would actually kind of look neat. Yeah, I, I don't really know. Really ties the wall together. Really ties the wall together. Actually, because it breaks up our lines. That's really funny. I really want to try to... That one copper... Um, yeah, this one? Lift, yeah. It looks like it goes through. It looks like it goes through almost. Yeah, that's kind of neat looking. I... Well, and we could do like a red cedar. Ooh. With the white and the red. That would look really kind of neat. Yeah, it would. Huh. Maybe. Maybe. Be slightly over that, but it can't be any closer than that. Well, I, that's my jig for always, no, no. for spacing the forms. Gotcha. That's my two foot jig. My two foot jig. My two foot jig. You're such a dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cringe. I see, it, see the blue right here. And it's just. Yep, there we go. Yep, I think we're perfect. I think that's gonna get it. Okay. This is the aftermath. Luke, I don't know what you're talking about thinking that thing has a leak. Barely any fluid on the ground. This keeps the concrete well lubricated. So Ricky is hooking a strap onto both sides in order to ratchet it closer together with his little jig in place to space the top of the forms appropriately. Alright, I want to 
the top ones is in place, which means this form just got a lot more safer. Makes me feel better. I like a lot safer and a lot more stable. That sounds that sounds like good news. Oh, you did those backwards. Hmm? It's hmm. gonna be it's gonna want to push in, and so you can't go through the existing hole. You got to put a new hole in it. Oh, if you had flipped it and done it the other way, uh, yeah, you could have done that. No. Just, uh... But alas. <laughs> All right, TJ's gonna put that in. I'm gonna say goodbye to the people for today. Yeah, I think that's it for today. I think we're going to, I think we're gonna call it a day because this form is now stable enough to leave overnight. It's not gonna fall down. Everything's braced. I think we're, uh, we're good to go. I think that's it for today. Hey, consider supporting us on Patreon, link in the bottom. I know I feel awkward about asking for that, but no, like, if you, if you feel like you want to support us and be part of this, then please, but do not feel obligated in any way. So support us on Patreon if you want. If not, like and subscribe if you feel like we deserved it. And if not, hopefully you learned something. Enjoy. Thanks for joining our adventure. Bye.